My name is Captain Olimar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I must have blacked out, and I awoke on the surface of a weird planet. With so many parts lost, the skeletal hull of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone. I'm stranded. To make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors indicate this plant's environment contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. My life support systems can function for only 30 days. If I can't repair the dolphin by then, no. I must think about it. I must find the missing ship parts. I must! Hello, and welcome to this, the first day of Let's Play Pikmin. Uh, this is one of my favourite games, quite possibly my favourite game ever. Uh, definitely one of my, f quite possibly my favourite game series ever. Uh, in fact, I've just started playing Pikmin 3, in fact, I've just started like, my second run through of Pikmin 3, and it is fantastic! A strange thing has appeared before me. I had barely begun my search when it reared up as if it were waiting for me, then it dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles a vegetable on my home plant that we call an onion. I shall call this an onion too. An onion too. Kind of like an Audrey too. Hopefully it doesn't, you know, try to take over the planet and eat people and feed me Seymour! <laughs> Anyway, that's uh, that's all normal. Um, this game, I bloody love Pikmin. Um, the seed that the onion dropped took root in the soil and has now produced an adorable little sprout. The sprout emits a strange light and it all stands back and forth in the cold to me and the compelled approach to press the A. I don't know what that was. I realised that wasn't the voice I was doing for Olimar earlier. I don't care. This is fun. EXTRAORDINARY! When I plucked the sprout, it turned out to be a living creature, not a plant! Picking it has done no visible damage. It just stands there, staring at me. Its shape is similar to the pick pick bland carrots I love so much. I believe I shall call it a Pikmin. Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet, fighting to survive, and yet, I'm intrigued. I must research this fascinating creature. I shall try to grab it and throw it with A, and I will call it to my side with B. Mm, perhaps it will react to C and X as well. Well, I certainly hope so, that's the way they programmed it. The following controls appear to allow me several viewpoints. Send route and camera, hold to follow the... I'm not reading that whole crap. I must survive. I need to familiarize myself with these controls and my surroundings. Hmm. Jolly good. Jolly good. No bloody phone. What? Who's this to me now? <sighs> anyway, back to the point at hand. Pikmin. Pikmin is fantastic. Why is Pikmin fantastic? Because I say so. I, I think that's pretty much the only validation that's needed, really. Why is it good? Because I say so! Okay, got a problem with that! Good, because I don't either. Hmm. I, I, I can't be bothered to actually read that. <laughs> I should say that I am doing all of this voiceover in post, um, so I did deliberately leave a lot of these text blocks up for me to actually read out in voices dramatically, but I really can't be bothered anymore. Um, but yeah, this is this just brings back so many beautiful memories. Uh, the only nasty memory, obviously, being the Emperor Bullblacks, which I found an absolute nightmare as a child, and will no doubt find an absolute nightmare to defeat and fight against yet again. Um, but that being said, this is a brilliant game. I think, um, as bad of it, as bad of me to say it as it might be, I should say, um, 
This may be better than Pikmin 2. I, I certainly love Pikmin 3. Pikmin 3 is amazing. It's utilization of the Wii U gamepad. Oh man, everything, it's its just such a nice game. It flows very nicely. Um, I should stop talking about Pikmin 3 though. Uh, stick to the point at hand. Pikmin, Pikmin. Ah. What is it that this reminded me of? Um, th there was a game. Or something else that I used to play, or watch, or do something with. That this, when it was first released, reminded me of, and I can't remember what it was. Maybe it was Pokemon. You know, little creatures, you get them to do your bidding. They have different abilities, like one's fire, one can breathe in the water, they're all colour-coded sort of things. I'm gonna go with Pokemon, even though I know that's wrong. Another amazing thing was the personality as well that the Pikmin had. Uh, they were... They weren't just little things that followed you around. They actually have leaves in front of the screen. Um, they actually have personality, which is nice. You leave them idle and they start sort of yawning and stretching and just lazing around. I mean, they could have just had them standing still at attention, but no. Idle animations! I... I go on about this quite a lot, I feel, but idle animations make things so much better. I think one of my favourites has to be in um, either Sonic the Hedgehog, where he just sort of he gets bored and he starts just lying there. Sonic CD is fantastic, where he sort of well after a while he just sort of jumps off the platform and essentially commits suicide, uh, which is always fun. Yay! Um, Aladdin. That's another favourite of mine, um, the 16-bit Aladdin, he just sort of stands there. Mega Drive is my preference, I never had an SNES as a kid. Um, but yeah, he'd stand there, he'd start rolling apples down his shoulders and stuff like that, it was kind of cool. Anyway, back to Pikmin. I love this game so much, I don't have anything to say about it. Now, obviously, this is going to be the shortest video of the Pikmin series, because as soon as I collect that engine there, uh, the day is basically over. So, all I'm going to do is try and build up the Pikmin stock as much as possible. And, yeah, I would love it if this was something that could be done as one of those glitchy, hacky speedrun things, but... That's not gonna happen. Because I'm not that good at manipulating the system. Uh, there's the engine. Isn't it amazingly lucky of him to find the engine right next to where he crashed? I mean, he could have been fucking doomed, really. Amazing! There's no mistaking it! My ship's engine rests before my very eyes! By a stroke of pure luck, I have already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Fate has smiled upon me, and I like it. So yeah, get all those Pikmin back to the thing. You need 20 to carry it anyway, so it's not like you can sort of collect it and leave all those pellets just lying there. Which is nice, right? So what you want, but this is a really well structured game. I mean, it's quite simple sort of integrated tutorial as well. It's not one of those tutorial systems, Donkey Kong 64, uh, which forces you to do a few menial tasks to teach you things, um, and then lets you play. This is you playing with the tutorial included, which I like. I like being able to play get taught things as I'm going through. In fact, this entire game is basically a learning experience. Um, once you've played it once, when you've played it once, you can go back, play it again, and you'll have a better understanding of where things are going, how you're doing them, what you need to be doing on certain days, how different 
pick me and interact, how different boss monsters um, sort of interact and are beaten. And from that learning experience you develop and you figure out better, faster, stronger, easier, quicker ways of completing the game. That all made sense in my head. Not so sure if it did in yours. So if not, I'm terribly sorry. Well, I'm not really, but still. And now, the arduous wait for the Pikmin to carry back the mighty treasure. <sighs> if only, if only, the woodpecker sighs. The bark on the trees were as soft as the skies. There we go. The engine has arrived! And it somehow has enough power to flip the entire spaceship. The SS Dolphin is a really nice looking spaceship though. A lot better than that crappy dustbin thing that had, even when it was bloody clad in gold in Pikmin 2 it still looked a bit crap. Which raises a question actually. Hmm. Pikmin 2, uh, once you get so far through it, that ship gets clad in gold. Pikmin 3, that's shit. Uh, uh, stop talking about Pikmin 3. <laughs> Haven't even recorded any of that yet. Because my Wii U's been silly. Well, my capture card's been silly with my Wii U. I should say. Anyway, day one, complete. Look at all those little Pikmin scurrying away to their onions. Onions and peaches. Kondo conduct the music for this. I feel as though he did. Um, he probably did. I, he is a very good composer and I do love his work. Ah, Koji Kondo. Uh, let's have a look see. Let's have a look see! Yep, day one. Things happened and we didn't lose any Pikmin. That'll certainly change by the um, by the end of things. Yep, yeah, twenty more, twenty nine days, twenty nine parts. It's quite a nice little system, really. You can get away with one part per day. Although, in all fairness, when you get to the final trial, you don't want that. Anyway, I'll see you on the next day.